Hello, witch folk. Welcome to our coven. We're Angels on Broomsticks. We're a mother-daughter duo, and we love the, the makeup. makeup. I'm Kristen. And I'm Evangeline. And today, we're going to do a shot my stash situation. Yes. We just went through our makeup drawers and looked through things that we haven't used, we haven't given enough love to this year. Yes. And some things I think you have that you're not familiar with. Mine, yeah. mine is all old shite, <laughs> but... It's all good. I don't know why I've forgotten about it, but anyway, yeah. we're going to go start with the complexion and we'll just explain what we got as we go. Yeah. So yeah, there's a couple things I, I brought out cause they're kind of like newer and I'm not familiar with them. So we're going to see how they work in my routine. And I'm starting with the Vive Skin Nova, which I got with points. Ha ha ha. We're doing no by September. Yeah, we're doing, Unless that's what we, we needed need... to tell you. That's what we should yeah. have told you to start with. <laughs> So we're going into we our We bought own... mascara already, but that, that doesn't, doesn't count. Because okay. <laughs> you need it. If you yeah. run out, you need you it. You need it. Yeah. Like dental floss. Yeah. I got this with points, so I'm seeing how it's going to compare to my Hollywood Charlotte. Hollywood Charlotte. My Charlotte Hollywood Flawless Filter. Which I bought, because I yeah. haven't used in a hot minute i use it every day because i one. use because ever since that sunscreen uh the lotion lotion from Supergoop came out plus i prefer the auric yeah which i don't this is supposed to be more like skin carry like it can be a primer or like even your moisturizer apparently it's not as like glowy like the charlotte like shiny glow in a way it's more like a primer like tackiness Oh, that's good. We'll see how it works. And then we're going to go in with our foundation. Yeah, I busted out my NARS Sheer Glow. This was my go-to foundation for so long. Uh, this is the third bottle I have of it, but I went to the, the Ordinary Foundation, which I love because it's $6. I have so many shades in it. Do mixology, and I love it. This is like $60. So I haven't picked up Bitch. really in a while, so we'll see how it goes. I had my... Uh, Pat McGrath Skin Fetish, which I bought, I guess it was last summer, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. And I, but I just, oh, it's too precious. Oh, <laughs> it's too precious for me. And then I used a whole bunch, you know, including that apple butter, whatever. Mm, baby. But I stopped using the apple butter in the summer because it was too greasy. I thought you said you liked it for summer. That's what I thought I was going to, but when we oh, had the heat yeah. wave, it all went awry, so I just, mm. instead of any foundation, really, I don't know if you knew this, but I just used a little concealer. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know. The reason I sort of stopped using this foundation was because it, it's almost like really thin in the coverage you have to build up. Whereas even though the, the Ordinary, I use the Serum one the most, it still has really good coverage in my opinion. I like uh, makeup like that, though. That's why I like the Makeup Forever reboot. You like it's very it thin. Be and, thin. Oof, yes. Also, I'm a little like red today, and this is a very yellowy well, winter is it, foundation. Is it canceling out your redness? I don't know. Well, I'm loving what I'm putting on me now. But thank God it's getting cooler. I think the heat wave's done, and the kids are going back to school. Mm hmm. Finally. Finally. And I love the jeans they're wearing. Oh, yeah. Skinny jeans are over. They really are. It's no joke. <laughs> There's not one kid in skinny jeans. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm glad. I was team skinny jean for a while, but now I'm like, no. I have my uh, Levi's balloon jeans, and I love them. Well, I was listening to a podcast, and they said, the a fashion stylist said, the best jeans ever are just the Levi's 501 vintage ones and that you have to get them tailored oh oh because they don't that's... fit a lady's body really well, well then especially... why are they the best jeans because when you wear them everyone says oh what are those jeans mm. I don't know. i'm gonna move on to my yeah. concealer which is my also my pat mcgrath skin fetish i haven't used this in a hot minute do you hate when people say that i don't know a hot <laughs> minute they gotta stop like even sean penn said it I haven't listened to it in a minute. A hot minute. I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Self Setting Concealer, which everyone was really raving about, and I got it, and I think I got a shade a bit light, especially for summer. And I was trying to get a shade for my summer skin. I'm not, like, a huge fan of it. So let's see how it goes today. This is thicker than I remember. 
I still, my go-to favorite favorite is the NARS matte. Soft matte. Oh, soft matte. So good. Like you, that's what I wear as basically foundation. I look so not glowy today. Ugh. But you the once the light hits you, the glow up. <laughs> you can't judge until it's all. It's true. You know, set in. And this is a lot more makeup than I've worn in years. <laughs> I think this, uh, the NARS Sheer Glow is good for summer, though, for those heat waves. Because it doesn't budge. Or well, does. it's just more like, like matte. Yeah. In a way. I'm into matte. Even though it says Sheer Glow in the title, the serum foundations have spoiled me with hydration. But do you need hydration in the summer? Yeah, my skin will still be dry. What's wrong with you young people when you're dry? Mm. Okay. Bronza. Yep. I'm, I'm going in with... Yenza, this is the only cream product I brought. And it's called Sunlit Glow Silk Bronzing Base. Yenza. Actually, I'm going to do my blush first because my blush is cream. And my bronzer is powder, so I should go in with these. Yes. So I'm going, okay, the Rare Beauty. I think they're called the Soft Pinch uh, Liquid Blushes. These are the ones that are crazy, crazy, crazy yeah, pigmented. Aren't they problematic? Well, it's like, it's just like... A l one drop will go all over your whole face. So you have to be like careful. So I'm gonna mix it on my hand, these two shades. And I wasn't liking these for a bit, but then I used them the other day and then I kind of did like them. And, but I don't turn to them because they're kind of like, you have to put a lot of effort in. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's advanced. Mix. mix but once mix. winter hits, that's when your advanced skills come in. Okay. Don't you think? No. Why? Do you, I don't want to spend any time sitting in the heat, putting slap on. Whereas in the winter, I can spend all day. Oh my God. You. <laughs> I don't, I was trying to be. Here's the thing. Blush always diffuses. You can lift it up with your. This is, what's the problem with this? I mean, the shade's really pretty. <laughs> it's really hard not to overdo this one. Okay, high school play. Watch, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. Take my foundation brush, stipple over and around. <laughs> okay, how I feel about this? It's warm, but it's not contoury. It's probably not my right shade. And it's not very deeply pigmented. It's like the color yeah. of a, I don't know, sand dune. Oh, okay. It does look like a sand dune. Okay, that's a little better. I'm gonna leave it a little vivid because I always apply more in the end anyway, so. Alrighty. So my bronzer is this Marc Jacobs one that was on sale at Sephora. It's in the, it's the Omega bronzer in Tantric. Mm -hmm. I always just wanted this bronzer because of the big pan. It just, it's so big. But I haven't used it that much, so we'll see. Mine's a Ciati, this is the blush. It's Ciati Marbled Light Halo. And it's a baked blush. Looks kind of like this. Mm, that's like so the hourglass I, I like those. blushes. I remember liking this because it kind of made you look sunburned. Which yeah. I like. Yeah. You spend all your money trying not to look sunburned. And then... <laughs> and then you apply product to look sunburned. Isn't that funny? Just like bronzer. Well, it, yeah. It's like when you put foundation on, you cancel out all the color. And then you put... Yeah different color yeah, yeah I put on yeah I cancel out all this red and then I put, put on, more red yeah, it's insane yeah I mean it's okay I like this blush I think my just blend is off today I don't know what's going on it's that blush it might be your because you're used to a certain foundation yeah that too I like this blush I gotta bring it out I don't have many blushes and when I say it I probably have more blushes than most of you out there but so like I say, I have no lipsticks because I hate lipsticks. I don't care about them. But I have 75. Yeah, that's like a lot. <laughs> I'm bringing out my first highlighter I've ever bought, which is a mini little Becca highlighter in the shade Opal. Look at it. It's panned. I probably should get one before. Have they closed yet? I don't know. But I think You can go to good. the winners and get them. Oh, yeah. I think. Yeah. I heard that they were closing in September, so okay, that might be the only thing you can know. But I have it. I bought it. What is it? 
Mine's in opal. Yours is in champagne. Okay, I got Artist Couture Sex Pose Diamond Illuminizer. Oh, look. See? I got this. Oof. This is the first thing I ever tried to pan. I didn't do it right. Oh, well. It doesn't matter because I don't care. It's crazy to me Becca's going out of business because their highlighters are so good. I feel like there's something going on that they're not telling us. Mm. I think to like sort of buff this all out, I'm gonna go in with this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This isn't dim light. I used to turn to these all the time and what I do like about them, they're not setting powders, they're finishing powders. It's really nice to just like buff the makeup all into your face, but not like with a heavier setting powder. And it's supposed to make it look like your skin is glowing from within. I'm gonna do that too. Uh -huh. Powder, but really, but I do like it. Just blends everything out nicely. I don't know if my even my highlighter showed. A little. Okay. Okay. And I find with this one, it's good to like get in that, you know. How'd your blush turn out? Oh yeah, it looks nice. Haha. <laughs> 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 So I have two little palettes I'm gonna delve into. For your eyes? Yeah, one of which is a Boxy oh, Charm find, which is the Ditto Venus palette. It's cute, cute, it's like cute planets. We talked about this in our Boxy Charm video. I'm just gonna use some of the neutrals in it and then take out this Alva Odin's Eye palette for some shimmer. This was something we were we filmed for our first video ever. We didn't end up releasing it because I was like, I think it was our first Figuring video. out the camera, but yeah, I have the footage of it and we're so awkward. Not that we're not awkward now. Mm -hmm. We're better. Right? <laughs> Ooh, I, got, I brought out the Melt uh, Impulse. So I actually kept this in a box. Yeah, that's messy. I never do that. Not even with Miss Pat McGrath. So yeah, the Impulse. I'm going to kind of get inspired by the seasons. It's fall. Mm -hmm. So it looks like that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to... I have a melt one of these eyeliners in spliff. I'm gonna use it as a base for my eyes. Oh, okay. Because I'm gonna go in with these. They're kind of dark rust colors. I'm gonna stick to the one side, not the purpley shimmery side. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm just gonna do something really simple it's for simple. my eyes because like... I want to do like a brighter lip. Okay. I've been doing a lot of neutrally lips lately. I feel. Odin's Eye has had like a lot of mixed reviews, like with their customer service though. Like there have been people saying that they've had like really weird palettes that are like hard panned and like dry and there's no pigment to them and then they don't. I've had that problem with Odin's Eye. That's why I'm one of the shades in the, oh, yeah. one of their like they, the when norm. they first came out, like it was like last fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's, it, there's no. It's a dark blue that looks like it has a cool shift to it. But guess what? It doesn't. Yeah. Because there's no no pigment that comes out of it. So, no. Mm. I'm not buying from them again. I like this little Ditto palette. Ditto. Dido. Never heard of the brand. It's like really easy to blend. Okay, I'm going to go in with one of these shimmers just on the lid with my finger from this Odin's palette. Actually, this palette. I used to turn to this one a lot. This yellow and this orange together are really cute. Cute, cute. Okay. Base is on. Doesn't look great, but it doesn't matter. I do really like their shimmers, though. They have yeah, a really no. nice blendability. They're good. It's a good. It's some of it's good. When they're good, they're good. But yeah. maybe they'll learn. It's like it's almost kind of wet in a way. So it sucks that some of their shit got dried out or whatever. But it, yeah, I like blending them. So this is not new or anything. I use this all the time, but I just have to use it. The Rachel Defee Coal Liner, because I'm going to put a little lash on as usual. And I like to always just have a little bit of black on there to help with blending it into my lashes. But this is my eye look. This is it. I'm done. I'm not done. I'm just putting in one of the dark shadows, which <laughs> name I don't know. Boop, it's upside down. Boss Lady, over top of the dark base I put on from Spliff. I'll try to make it simple. Usually I take no time. Well, I only did a two shadow look because I want to focus on the lips. When it's like a bright red lip, 
You don't want too much going on in the eye. I mean, maybe you do, but not today. Like, maybe I should do a little wing. Yeah, do a little That's wing. That's what I'm gonna do. Little wings are good. Normally, I just hate doing them with like liquid liners. Just hate it. But not with this. This is pretty easy. I'm tapping on a shimmer shade and it's called CEO. Is this one of their first palettes? It's one of their first, but not. It's kind of one of their celebratory palettes because you can see on the box, like they look like they're celebrating their life. It's like in that movie, 13 going on 30. Mm -hmm. She comes up with that mm -hmm. really cute campaign idea. This is what it reminds me it of. It is like, the, yeah, I remember that. Nobody does smoky eyes better than Melt. Yeah. The founder lady? Yeah. Now I'm gonna go on the other side and go the morning after. So it sounds like this palette, the names are like a party. 2012, Rule Breaker. Go getter, dream big, CEO, boss lady, game changer, profesh, bold. I don't like those names. Why? Makeup junkie, warehouse party, makeup junkie. I love that color, which I think is my favorite color of them all. Mm. Shifty pinks. This wing's shorter than this one. Ugh. But it doesn't matter, didn't Katie Jane tell us? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe her. Well, I think it's sort of like. Um, when you're getting so perfectionist-y about your wings and it's like no one would notice the slight difference. And then when you're doing it, you end up going too thick. Yeah, you ruin it then. And then it's just a shit show. Another thing with wings is like they look almost weird until you then put mascara and a lash also will always hide any weirdness in my opinion. I did get a new mascara I wanted to try out. The new Bite Upswing Volume Mascara. I used to once, I liked it, but you know how you have to wear in mascara? Yeah. You ready for mascara? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's do that off camera. Okay, yeah. And we'll be back. That's pretty grungy, yeah. melty. Melty, pretty grungy. Okay, we are back. Mm -hmm. And throat gurgle. <laughs> and I'm gonna try a new, new lipstick, but I feel like it shot my stash because I got it in one of those BoxyCharm add-ons. I haven't touched it yet, so it's like been sitting there for a while and I haven't even used it. I'm using something I used in a video we did, ZC. Remember Z this? This? Z. Yeah, Z the Z dragon. Z it came in a box and it looks like this. It's a packaging like this. <gasps> I've yeah. never touched it since our video. Well, it's too see, it's precious. Like a work of art. Yeah. But you almost have to have that like on a display on a vanity. Yeah. You need to get a nice fan. I need to live my life. That is a nice look. I want to borrow that palette now. Okay, I'll leave it with you. <laughs> I think this is like a liquid lipstick and I don't have like any red liquid lipsticks, which are nice to have, which is why I got it. Oh, this smells like so good. It smells like coconut or something. Mm. Vanilla. It smells like a cookie. I've hardly put on lipstick all summer. Like just lip gloss or, you know, cause it's mask season still. Mm -hmm. If you're watching this in the future, hmm. we're wearing masks every day. Oh, I like, I don't know about it going. I might've wanted a more plum color, but no, I think that'll come. It's fine. It's drying down very matte. I love that. Like, I think it'll have stain power. Power. I like that color a lot, that lip color. Well, who's this by? This lip thing? Oh, yeah, sorry. Persona? Oh, yeah, Persona. Yeah. You know them? Yep, through BoxyCharm. Okay, thoughts on your stash? I love, I love my fucking makeup, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love everything I own. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I like, a little bummed about the complexion. I was hoping the Vive would help with the make it more glowy, the sheer glow, but I don't know. I don't know if they were a good combo, to be honest. I used this with my serum foundation once and I thought it looked amazing, but I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, I don't care about my bronzer, but I don't care about bronzer. And my highlighter, meh. Yeah. It's a meh, but I like my 
foundation. I like my eyes. I like that I look a lot. It's very fall. Fall is coming and it's the time for the best makeup. Mm -hmm. In my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I think your dog is dreaming. What's he dreaming of? <laughs> my doggy, he's over there like He's making Thinking. little noises. And she's insisting that he's dreaming about... What happened to your neighbor the other night? <laughs> oh, okay. So my neighbor, it was three in the morning. He was awake and he was watching a movie and he saw someone pull up in our driveway. It's like a building kind of complex, all ground floor. And he peeked out the window like, who's coming in at three in the morning? Car was there. Person seemed to go somewhere. Anyway, like three minutes later, he's just like sitting on his couch and his door opens and he goes, my neighbor says, excuse me? And a man's standing there and he said, oh, sorry. I was looking for the rub and tug that used to be here. <laughs> so um, apparently there used to be a rub and tug here, we've confirmed, like five or six years ago. This used to be a Bible studies place. And there was also <laughs> a bakery. There was a bakery for Jesus. <laughs> a mission. And a rub and tug. And a rub and tug. For those tired bakers. And missionaries. Uh, but, yeah, so I don't know what my unit was specifically. They're very weird units. They're, like, used to be, like, they look like a strip mall. It's weird, but they're, like, cool. Anyway, that happened. And so my dog is dreaming. Yeah, he's dreaming the door's opening. The door's opening. Get out of here, you bastard. You rub and tugger. Go back home to your wife. <laughs> yeah, so, anyway. Um, beware of people opening your door at three in the morning. How about locking your doors? Yeah, I lock mine always because I've been listening to too many murder podcasts. <sighs> so in the day, it's just always locked. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, that's it for today. <laughs> um, definitely go and shop your own stash. Bring out some things. See if you, you know, you can. Like them yeah, again. because your techniques change over the years. That's what yeah. I found. Like yeah. I would never have put the dark face underneath. You know, a year ago. Oh yeah, that's true. But I just true. did things yeah. differently. You'll do things differently and revive things. Yeah. Or you may discover why you kind of did let go of some yeah. of those things. And something I... that's when you go, eh. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's it for today. We hope you stay witchy. We hope you stay bitchy. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye witches. witches.